Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. It is I, the how on earth does this guy keep on buying so much Mega Constructs? Mega Constructs guy. Legitimately, I've done so many hauls at this point. You're all probably wondering where I even store it all. And that's a question that my parents have been asking for many years. I always just find more places to put my Halo. And a little bit of backstory on this. This is certainly the largest box of Halo I've ever received. There's a lot more than just Halo in this. There's actually a lot of stuff I think you'll find interesting aside from Halo. But yeah, definitely the largest I've ever bought. And that's because um, I bought it myself. And this is a box sent by me. What a plot twist. <laughs> no, so this uh, is the accumulation of everything I bought while I was in Hong Kong. Because if you remember the timeline, I was in lockdown in England, then I moved to Hong Kong, I was there for over a year, and then I moved to Minneapolis, or I traveled to Minneapolis. So in that time, I uh, couldn't bring all of this halo that I'd accumulated in Hong Kong, so I sent it to England. And this is a 40 kilogram box. It's absolutely massive. I sent it by boat. If I paid to send it by air, it would have cost like a few hundred dollars. It would have got there much faster, but time wasn't an issue to me because I was going to Minneapolis. And it took three months. <laughs> and it arrived while I was still in America. I get this thing open. And I do apologize for if there's some noise interference. Apparently my neighbors are the loudest people ever. I don't know who is chainsaw sawing a tree on a Wednesday. But that's just what we're dealing with. So uh, without further ado, let's get this bad boy up onto the table. I don't even think it'll be able to be shown on camera. Oh. There we go. Absolutely massive. <laughs> a lot of Halo in here, a lot of other cool collectibles. But there is a lot of, uh, of Halo in here. I'm really excited to show you guys. Whoa, that is massive. So if we flip it on its side. Whoa. There's something deeply menacing in here. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> if you guys remember, I did a couple of videos with this bad boy. He's called The Collector. And he was given to me by one of my friends, Rickus. If anyone's watched Spirited Away, we thought we were gonna have to leave this in Hong Kong. I'd already made peace with it. And then I filled up this box and I was like, you know what? I think he'll get in. And I just crammed him in so there. So he's gonna be chilling off in the background. All right, let's check it out, shall we? Whoa. All right, there's a lot of stuff in there. The first box. There are many boxes inside this box. This was from a arcade in a banking district in Hong Kong. This Charizard. When I first moved to Hong Kong, and I first moved to Hong Kong in 2019, Peggy, uh, my girlfriend at the time, and I, we really loved doing uh, claw machines. We really loved playing claw machines like late at night. And it would be like just this fun activity we'd do. Instead of going to a bar, you just go and spend like 15 bucks at an arcade and uh, play claw machines. And we won kind of a crazy amount. I, pr I had a collection of like 10 or 15 uh, Pokemon. Charizard's the only one I kept. I think I kept a Pikachu as well. And I did a lot of Facebook marketplace purchasing while I was in Hong Kong. It was where I got most of my collectibles, where I met my good friend who scored me all of the uh, Halo Mega Blocks we see on the Travel Blocks episodes. Another Facebook Marketplace listing I found. Original Pokemon cards. Most from like Ruby and Sapphire or Diamond and Pearl era. Hong Kong dollars, very nice. Just some nice uh, mint condition original Pokemon cards. And uh, my my Hong Kong uh, bank card. I won't show you the card number, but it's still really nice. You can see like it has the, uh, the HSBC lion on it. I thought it was really iconic. I think we've definitely seen the bubble sort of burst with Pokemon. It's still nice to get them while I can. And the sleeved ones are the ones that I thought were a little bit more valuable. Evolutions, Pikachus, Raichus, any starter Pokemon, any of these like Team Galactic Pokemon uh, I kept in sleeves. So let's see if I can get a bit of money on those on the black market. All right. Another box. Ah, ah, now in here, is all of my Warhammer miniatures. Warhammer is a hobby that I would love to get into more. I just simply don't have the time right now. I think they're about 60% done. I did a good job with those at the time. Halo 3 McFarlane EVA. Always nice to have. What's in the box that always rocks? In Hong Kong, I really enjoyed buying uh, Japanese and Chinese Pokemon cards. And they're really cheap in Hong Kong, especially uh, the Chinese version. So I've got a few of these booster boxes that I kept from when me and my friends would just open like a full booster box. Never got anything like crazy value. Just, just for fun, really. And that's what Pokemon cards should be. They should just be for fun. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. The Faithful versus Fallen Battle Pack in all of its glory. I did a review of this on the channel recently. You can check that out. But this is a second one that I wanted to keep for myself. So that's going in the bowl for safekeeping. Nice orangutan. Spartan CTF Base Crashers Pack. Comes with Rogue Recon Mark VI Gen 1 and an AC Spartan Recon. Interesting that you get uh, Recon in both blue and AC so you can switch them up. Oh, ho, ho. My 
one and only Lego set. Peggy bought it me for Christmas. Super cute. Dynamic duo. Oh, wow, okay. Hot Wheels, what hot? This was sent to me by Kevin Hurd at Halo Collector. And in here, oh, I'm excited about this one. Yes. A really nice base plate, covered in dust. <laughs> this is for the Halo ring. Oh God, that's so dusty. How did so much dust get in there? Well, there's a halo ring. There's two buildable halo rings. I guess some micro vehicles as well. Once I eventually have my own house in England, I will actually have somewhere to put all this halo. Hey presto, a jackrabbit blitz. Beautiful. Okay, some random scenery. This was used in one of my dioramas back in the day. Mm, something in this black bag. Pretty much all the first wave of Halo Infinite sets are in this box. Oh no, <laughs> I am mistaken. This is a UNSC Kodiak. I got this very last minute off my friend Matthew, but it should be a 100% complete Kodiak. I've never built the Kodiak, I don't know, but it's it's meant to be, so we, we're gonna see. We'll see once I build it. Masters of the Universe. Loads of different ones. In this bag, two ODSTs from the uh, ODST versus uh, Nightops Brutes four pack. Spartans and the Elite from the Spartan four team battle pack. Marine customizer pack with the Flame Marine and the regular Halo four Marine. We're just getting started with this, is crazy. Ponyo on the Cliff by the Sea. Illustrated book showing all the concept art for a Studio Ghibli movie. Another Studio Ghibli movie, same as Spirited Away. Same as My Neighbor Totoro. And the artwork in here is just gorgeous. Advertisement for a Chinese beer <laughs> called Blue Girl. <laughs> that is the mascot, the Blue Girl. <laughs> I don't have any explanation for that. It's just, just hilarious. This was the company I worked for in Hong Kong, Monkey Tree English. Probably shouldn't work there. It's not, not amazing. Bottle, uh, well, an empty bottle of rice wine. In this box, we've got, oh, this box is very special. So this box was a really big purchase. I went back and forth. I didn't know if I was gonna do it, but I ended up saying, screw it, I'm gonna commit. I spent a lot of money on this, but I really think it's a great investment. Copies of Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green for the original Game Boy. They are in like PSA 9 or 10 grade condition. Absolutely gorgeous. I think these are gonna really hold their value in my hand. It's such a magnificent piece of history. So I'm happy with the purchase. I, I am happy with the investment. Compared to like the investment that I did make, way, way less than it, they, they go for in England. Like way, way less. Mwah. Beautiful. Let's see what else we've got. Ooh -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Ponyo on the cliff by the sea again. Chinese copies of Halo 4, Halo Reach and Halo 3 ODST. They just look really fun, you know? It's really interesting to see slight changes in uh, direction for the art style, uh, like the box art that they went with the Chinese versions. I've already opened Halo 3 ODST on the channel. Uh, you can check out that video. These are actually birthday presents as well. Really nice little Chinese collection there. I want to get them all eventually in Chinese, but uh, that's for another day. Empty bag, rare collectible. Picture book of my time in lockdown that my dad made. Very special uh, pair of pens that were my two granddad's uh, pens, Harry and Jim. Chinese uh, little strategy guide to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Little Chinese map of the Breath of the Wild open world. Then just a load of trinkets, including a frozen fever pencil. One of my students uh, gave me this on the last day and told me to look after it. So I sent it in a box across the world. There is honestly more than I remembered in here. Turns out I like to buy a lot of Halo. Ah, I do have the instruction manual. Very nice. Activate sword. Surprising to see that that has stayed in near mint condition during its journey. I'm gonna probably hang this up in my room somewhere. It's just gorgeous. Okay, what's in this yellow bag? We've already been recording for 22 minutes. So much stuff. Ah, the AA gun. Great. Good to see you in a couple of hundred pieces, but we're all right. Oh, the bag started to rip. Yeah, the Warthog Rally and then a radio tower, whatever that radio takedown tower is. And then a couple of turrets. A couple of the exosuits. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight micro builds. A Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild amiibo. I especially like this one because all the legs uh, are so malleable. Gives like really good position. Master Chief Collection. Ah, ha, 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 ha. You're looking good, Chiefs, all six of you. I'm actually happy that I could get this back to England in good condition. I didn't know if it was gonna make the journey, but it looks fantastic. It's still going. A bag of assorted figures here. A load of old articulation. Custom pink Elite Flight. Combat Evolved Elite. Custom purple ODST. Green Recon and Rogue. Oh yeah, there's that Bravo series figure that has a melted face. And then just a load of others, wow. Two different kinds of AC Spartan Rogue. Blue and the transparent. Oh yeah, the custom Billy that I painted on my uh, 
30,000 subs live stream. Gold Arbiter. Two Spartan Jerome. Load of stuff. Beautiful. These two were from different uh, gacha machines. Buildable Master Chief. There's a lot in here. Buildable Master Chief. Buildable Master Chief helmet. The base plate for the energy sword. And then a load of pieces for the Pelican inbound. Hong Kong. KFC beer. Just one of the uh, KFCs in Hong Kong has a brewery attached to it. I had to bring that home. It's just too funny. We got the micro helmet, a load of cryopods, a couple more micro builds. This funny little guy, this is a uh, coat hanger. Oh, hello. <laughs> the fall of reach and the flood. Even more cryopods. Skyfire exosuit, a drain pipe. Oh my goodness. There it is. The Pelican inbound. Inbound to the floor. This is destroyed. Not in good condition right We're now. We're almost there, folks. On it. <laughs> Not in a good condition either. We've got this, which I I don't know what it is. Interesting. Is it the scorpion? It's got caterpillar tracks. Ah, yeah, it's the Wolverine. It's the new Wolverine. No instruction manual. Again, this was bought last minute by this uh, this collector in Hong Kong. So I don't know if it's complete, but I trust him very much. So I hope it's complete. One last really heavy box. I don't remember what's in here. Just general trinkets, like a ghastly. Ha. Huh. I forgot this came back with me. Look at that. Beautiful. It's really fun that I forgot about most of this stuff. A really exciting experience. I just never know what I'm gonna pull out. All right, folks. <laughs> you never seen a haul like this. Uh, I'm always I'm always setting the, the bar for Halo hauls, I think. I mean, I'm pretty much the only one that does them, so the bar's already set by me. There we have it. A monstrous haul. Oh man, so much to go over. We've got my Warhammer figures, Pokemon cards, copy of Pokemon Red and Green on the Game Boy, Master Chief Collection, Charizard, Amiibos, <laughs> Chinese Halo game, Chinese Zelda merchandise, then loads of different Halo Mega Constructs, the Buildable Energy Sword, Pelican Inbound, the AA Gun, loads of Cryopods, Helmets, tons of figures, Kodiak, Wolverine. It's just a good day. <laughs> It's just a good day to be the domain. Thank you very much for tuning in today, folks. This was another video with the domain. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope you enjoyed this crazy haul. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. Charizard is signing off.